Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be the start of my first weekly vlog. So I've not done a weekly vlog before and yeah, I just thought I've got a few bits going on this week so I would bring you along for the ride. Hopefully this is something you all enjoy watching. First of all, I just want to also say hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. It honestly literally means the world. It might not be many to some people, but we've we've grown quite a little bit in the last month. So hi to everyone if you are new here. It's currently Monday around midday and I'm just on my way to the gym. I do CrossFit every Monday to Friday on a lunchtime so I always go on my lunch hour and do CrossFit. I find that's the best for me because it just gets the gym out of the way. So by the time when I finish work at five o'clock, the gym is just done and dusted. I really hate going to the gym after work because I find that it's just obviously everyone has gone after work. So the gym is just so busy. You can't get in any of the machines. Like it's just a lot. So I find that going in my lunch hour is like the best thing ever because it, like I say, it just gets it out the way. And I've really been loving CrossFit. I find I work so much harder when I've got like a class to do. Why is he beeping at me? I didn't do anything. Anyways, I don't really have absolutely loads going on this week. I've got a few plans towards later in the week, but the first half of this week is just like normal kind of day-to-day -day life. Also, comment down below if like weekly vlogs is something that you'd like to see more of. If you'd like to see more kind of lifestyle, like day-to-day vlogs I guess yeah vlogs if you'd like to see more vlogs then just let me know I can definitely do more of that um as well as like fashion beauty all of that kind of good stuff but yeah let's see how this first vlog goes and if you do enjoy it please be sure to comment down below to let me know so I can make sure that I do some more okay so we have made it to the gym my sister is actually not here yet. I usually do the class with my sister every single day, but it doesn't start for another five minutes. But I'm spying around and I'm not sure if she's slacking today because I can't see our car. We've been really enjoying coming to the gym together. I find it really motivates. Motivates. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Um, it really motivates us, obviously, on days that I can't be bothered to come. She will encourage me to come and vice versa. So we've been coming every single day and yeah i've been really noticing some improvements from doing this class so i'm looking forward to it today but also dreading it at the same time i'm gonna run into the gym now i will pick up with you guys i don't know whenever i next pick up the vlog there's not much going on today like i said it's monday and um, i am at work for the rest of the day but if anything else interesting happens then i'll be sure to pick up the camera so here we go Good morning. It is the next morning now and I have just woke up and I'm about to get some breakfast and I'm going to make my favourite breakfast of all time. So I thought I would just pop the camera on and show you all what I've been loving having basically every single day. So let me just... So my favourite breakfast at the minute, like my favourite favourite breakfast is cinnamon and raisin bagels. If you don't know you need to basically get to know. I usually get the bagel thins because they're slightly less calories, but they didn't actually have any of those. So I just got the regular bagels. So these are the Warburton's cinnamon and raisin sliced bagels. And each bagel has 212 calories. So I mean, it's not so bad. Once I put the toppings on, it's like a 300 calorie breakfast. So I don't have it like every single morning, but I mean, I have it most mornings. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you how I make it. Then I have my bagel with peanut butter and jam and I mean it doesn't sound the healthiest but I try and get like alternatives to the super sugary stuff. They didn't actually have, I usually get the Sun Pat sugar free and they didn't actually have any sugar free so I mean confession I do have the regular Sun Pat but I'm going to do a small scraping of this. Then instead of regular jam, I like to get the sugar free jam. So this is the no sugar added um, raspberry jam. And I just got this from Morrison's. It tastes exactly the same as normal jam, but obviously it's healthier. So I'll add a little bit of this on the top.
Bon appetit. Hello guys, so it is a little bit later on in the day now. I haven't really had much to vlog today. Um, I've just went to the gym, I did CrossFit again at lunchtime and then I have just been at work this afternoon. So yes, this is my working from home attire, dressed on the top, jammies on the bottom, always. A little update for you all, I have literally just decided that I'm gonna go to Marbella in like six days. I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> We've just decided, super last minute, we're going to go next week. Um, we were waiting for the traffic light announcement, which is tomorrow, just to make sure that Spain didn't go on the red list. We were kind of teetering with the ideas. Teetering with the right word? I don't know. We were kind of thinking about it, but we never really put any plans in place. Just thought, you know what? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's just wait and see what the um, traffic light announcement says and just kind of decide from there. And the traffic light announcement isn't until tomorrow, but it looks very, very unlikely that Spain is going to go on the red list. So, yeah, we've just decided we're going to do it. We're going to go to Marbella for five nights. I need a holiday. Tonight's plan of action is going to be sitting on the MacBook and just basically I'm going to get it all booked, get some restaurants and bars and things booked. Very exciting though. I feel like it's nice when something like this last minute happens because you don't have time to like stress about it. You can just like... Just go, just literally go in like six days. So very excited, I also need to plan some outfits. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee, get the MacBook and sit and try and figure this thing out. It is a little bit later on in the week now. It's actually Thursday evening. I'm not sure when the last time I picked up the vlog was, but I don't really think anything went on yesterday. I am just on my way, well, I'm about to be on my way to my sister's house. Her boyfriend has gone away for the weekend, so we're gonna have girls weekend I'm basically gonna move into hers for a couple of nights so I've packed up my entire life and I'm gonna move into hers so I've just had a shower washed my hair and I'm gonna go over and yeah have a fun girls weekend extended weekend because I guess it is only Thursday have you ever seen anything this cute in your life my tea's on the bench oh you want your tea? So I'm gonna feed this little pup and then I will be on my way. Like I say, I've literally packed up my entire life. Why is it that I can never, never pack light? We move, we move. It was all essential, okay? It was all essential. Hello, so we have made it to my sister's house. So we're just chilling. Let me just flip you guys around. So we're literally just chilling at the minute. Um, I've just got here and we've decided we're going to get a Papa John's. I can't even say that we tried not to get a Papa John's. We are definitely going to get a Papa John's. And I go to Marbella in... I can't even count. Five days? Five days and Papa John's is the Marbella body preparation but you know what we've been saying we we're gonna get Papa John's for the longest time because we've literally not had one since we were kids and tonight just felt like the perfect time to just chill out have girl time have a pizza so she is downstairs ordering the world right now which I'm not too mad about I'll show you all what we ordered when it comes I'm absolutely starved it's about eight o'clock right now way past my tea time I'll show you all what we get when it comes we have secured the goods We got pizza, some garlic bread, some little chicken things, and then for dessert, cinnamon scrolls. Time to dig in. The food coma is real. We've literally just polished that off. I'm literally so full. So we are gonna put a face mask on and get cozy in our pajamas and put a movie on on the couch so i will see you there girls night an entire debate about this looks ridiculous but how <laughs> these face masks are supposed to go on comment down below are these supposed to go over your ears or not <laughs> because i thought they were like breathing holes like gills for fish but yeah we've just been having an entire debate do they go over your ears because I mean, I don't feel like that could reach and I never knew that, I've always worn them like this. So let me know down below how I'm supposed to do a face mask if I've been doing it wrong for 24 years. So we are about to do 
this and watch a movie. I think we're gonna watch this. It's called Clickbait about, I don't know, a man that was abducted. It looks pretty good. It's in the top 10. So I think we're gonna just hang out and watch this. Got our covers, got our comfies on. <laughs> and yeah, gonna lie here and watch this. Right guys, it is bedtime for tonight. Update clickbait is absolutely mint. So I've just got into bed and I'm gonna put the last episode, not the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean the last episode. I meant the second episode, but I guess it's the last episode of tonight. So on that note, I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. I'm whispering because my sister is still in bed. It is currently And then he's talking about day because well because why not? I just stole this jumper as well because I was absolutely freezing so I just went and absolutely raided our wardrobe. So this cute little sweater. Let's go. Breakfast time. I've got these pancakes. Look how good these look. These are the MS banana pancakes. So it's literally 40 calories a pancake and with some fruit and some honey and a tiny little bit of Nutella on them. So literally this whole delicious pancake breakfast for 300 calories. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this. CrossFit time, we are on our way to the gym. Drinking our Shrek juice, I'm gonna smash some CrossFit. Free gym hype. So it is a little bit later on in the day now. It is Friday afternoon and I'm just starting to get myself ready. Been to the gym, smashed CrossFit, did a little bit extra due to the Papa John's. And yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day now. And I thought I would hop on because I'm almost at 100 subscribers. By the time hopefully that this vlog goes live, I will have 100 subscribers, hopefully. I'm very close to it, so something should have gone drastically wrong if I don't. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that is subscribed. It might not be a lot to some people, but 100 is a lot to me. The fact that even one person wants to watch my videos, never mind, 100 people is just, it just makes me happy. So thank you so much to everyone who is a new subscriber and welcome. I think when I started this channel, I didn't realize how time consuming filming and editing and all of that is. I never really had an appreciation for how long YouTube would actually, how much of my time it would actually eat up. But yeah, so I definitely have full appreciation for people that do this as a full-time job. It definitely can be a full-time job. So yeah, I just really appreciate everyone subscribing. I try my best to kind of fit this in. Um, obviously YouTube is not my full-time job, but I try my best to fit this in as and when I can. And yeah, I just wanna say thanks. A lot of time and effort does go in behind the scenes to these videos, so the fact that you're enjoying them really means a lot. So comment down below if there's any video ideas that you wanna see, anything you want me to film, and I'll be happy to take that on board and try and get that content for you guys. So yeah, just thanks. I feel like I finally, finally, I feel like I finally found my groove with the gym a little bit. I'm really an all or nothing person. Like I'm either going to the gym eight days a week or I'm going to the gym like not at all. And I'm just like eating. Like I really am an all or nothing person. I do really struggle with generally just like balance. Like I know that sounds probably daft, but I do struggle to have balance. I'd rather either be not going to the gym and just eating what I want or I'm going to the gym and I'm like really, really eating clean. I feel like the last couple of months, I would say maybe like since May, June, I really find my groove with like really balancing it out. So going to the gym like a sustainable amount of times a week, uh, not sustainable, maintainable amount of times a week, something that I can actually continue to do rather than like pushing myself and then like burning out and like just having like small treats here and there rather than like starving myself and then binging on a weekend. So I feel like I've definitely started to find my groove with that. And I mean, it's not a, it's not a quick fix because I've been like, in and out of the gym, diet and all of that for years. And I feel like this is the first time I've finally found like 
something that I can maintain and that I'm actually enjoying the gym, I'm enjoying what I'm eating and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I just thought I would share that because I had that thought while I was in CrossFit. I thought, I just feel like I'm on a good, a good vibe with the health fitness situation right now and um, I am thinking of filming a what I eat in a day so let me know if you would like to see that and I'll give a little bit of an insight into kind of what I perceive to be balanced and what kind of fulfills me and makes me feel satisfied throughout the day but also trying to be obviously healthy and fitting in some like exercise and all of that so if you would like to see what I eat in a day which is like realistic and something that you can actually maintain then definitely comment down below and I'll be sure to do that so yeah I just thought I would share that because I feel like that's something that not a lot of people are like open and honest about. So yeah, like I say, for the fifth time, just let me know down below. I am absolutely starving. So I'm gonna make myself a protein shake. I've just filmed a couple of videos for my channel, which I'm not sure when they will be live, but that's what I've been up to. So I'm about to make myself a protein shake. So I'll show you all what I have because I am Hank. Protein shake time. So this is the one that I usually have. This is, well, it's not the one that I usually have, but it's the one I've been having at the minute. And it's the Snickers protein. So it's only actually got 10 grams of protein in it. Usually I prefer my protein shakes to have 20, just so I can make sure that I'm getting enough throughout the day. But this one tastes really good, so I make an exception. However, I'm at my sister's house and she also has the Mars protein, which I've never tried. Again, it's just 10 grams, but I'm gonna actually try this one because I've tried the Snickers and I know that I like it. So I'm gonna give this one a go. You can get both of these. Um, I got mine from B&M. I'm pretty sure she probably got them from the same place. So you can get them from B&M Bargains. So let's give this one a whirl. If I was a Nutribullet cup, where would I be? Where would you keep a Nutribullet cup? Surely just in the cup cupboard. Surely. I cannot find the cup for the Nutribullet for the life of me, but I did find this little whisk is this going to be a disaster let's find out this does actually tell you to make it with water but i always make mine with milk just because well it's way nicer so i'm just going to mix two scoops i'm going to put two scoops into my glass and then add milk so i'm going to add almond milk to the powder. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is it going to go everywhere? Alright, no, it seems to be working. Oh no! We're going to be watching this like, oh my god, you're so stupid. That was obviously never going to work. But I mean, I'm so hungry in desperate times. I think it might be working. All right, moment of truth. Give it a stir. Perfect. Absolutely lush. Thought that was gonna be a disaster. I mean, there's still a little bit of powder kind of stuck to the sides of the glass, but you can't taste it. Tastes delish, and my verdict is actually that this is nicer than the Snickers one. This is definitely nicer than the Snickers one. And it's really low calorie as well. It's like 110, 109, something like that. It's low hundreds, low hundreds? That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. It's really nice. I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna sit here, all pleased with myself and drink my protein shake. Just went to start tea and realised half of the ingredients were missing. So I'm on a mission to Tesco to get... I've already forgot what I was meant to get. Can we talk about how light my hair is for a second? I've only had it done the once and I feel like the sun has lightened it so much. I really wanted to get another set of highlights but I couldn't get in with my hairdresser just because she was so busy. Our next appointment is um, not still not for another two months. So I couldn't get in with that, but I feel like it looks like I've had it done more than once. It's so light just from the sun. I'm here for it. Off to Tesco to get, can't remember what I'm supposed to get. So probably going to come back with M&Ms. I'm sorry that this camera angle is basically mostly steering wheel. Um, 
but I'm already driving now so I can't really fiddle with it. Um, but we were meant to be going on a night out tonight, both me and my sister. We had a full night out planned. It was in the schedule. It's been in the diary for, I would say a good month. And it's come round to it. It's half six now. And we were both just like, want to just like cook and stay in and just like go in the hot tub and just hang out. And like we both just kind of looked at each other and we're like, I was hoping you would say it first. I don't know if anyone else has turned into a grandma over the last year, but we definitely have. So we have pied the night out and we're going to stay home. We're going to cook a healthy tea and yeah, we're just going to hang out and chill. So that is going to be, that was obviously going to be part of the vlog going out, but now the vlog has changed and it's just going to be more chills. So don't know if that's going to be as exciting or whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. I've just pulled up to Tesco and can we all have a minute for, can we remember during the pandemic when there was literal queues for about an hour to get into the supermarket? I just remember the last time I was at this Tesco, there was literally a queue like a hundred people deep to get their bread and milk. How mental a time was that? morning got our morning coffee off an hour morning walk it is a glorious saturday morning got absolutely tons to do today so we're up and at them for a productive saturday morning walk and then yeah i will catch up with you all later good morning so it is actually saturday no Sunday morning right now. Sorry, I didn't vlog much yesterday. Obviously, I went for my walk in the morning and then after that, it was just a little bit hectic. Um, I had to... I felt like I was just in the car basically all day yesterday. I was literally driving for like eight hours. I had to go and get my PCR test and then I had to take Zach to go get his PCR test. And then I'd forgot something, so I had to drive all the way back to mine, which is like an hour we had to go back there and then we needed to get like last minute holiday bits like toiletries and things so we popped in the metro centre so I feel like yesterday was just a little bit here there and everywhere there was nothing really of interest going on and I was just kind of all over the place so the plan is for today it's about what time is it the morning has actually gotten away from us it's nearly 12 now so I'm just popping out to buy us something to have for lunch so we're gonna go out later on it is actually bank holiday it's not bank holiday Sunday, it's bank holiday Monday, so we're going out later on today, we're going to watch Jamie Jones, so I'm going to get us something substantial to have for our lunch before we go out and have a drink, so that is where I'm off now. Like I say, yeah, later on we are going to watch Jamie Jones, so I need to get dressed for that, I mean, I'm a bit annoyed because yesterday the weather, the weather was unreal, it was such a warm day, so I completely changed my outfit choice, I was wearing like a full on pink floral cord, I was super excited about it, and it is miserable today, like not even like not sunny like it's actually miserable and it's actually freezing so all the more excited to get away on holiday but it just means today i'm probably gonna have to wear a hat scarf and gloves so there's that i will try and vlog a little bit later on i'm not gonna take my camera so i won't vlog like the entire thing but i will take my phone and i'll take some short clips and stuff so you can kind of see the vibe i'll see what kind of footage i can get we are ready to go i got ready in such a rush there why am i always this amount of last minute so i have about two seconds to quickly show you all what i'm wearing before i have to leave so let me just flip you around this is my outfit sorry the lighting's a little bit dark in here i've got these lime green trousers on from plt with my plt platform trainers and then just paired it with a little white crop top and my hustle leather jacket my little burberry bum bag and some sunglasses so we are just shooting off now like i say i'll try and get a little bit of footage once i get there but i'm not going to take my camera so i just wanted to show you all before i leave and yeah i will catch up with you all there
well actually it's afternoon it's probably about one two o'clock and I've had a very hungover lazy morning if I do say so really not done a lot and I had a million and one things to do so we've just started packing this is the current situation and there's still things on the floor and I need to basically put all of this into here is anyone else as much of an overpacker as me I just don't know what I'm going to need and I've never been before I don't know what the dress code is going to be so I'd rather have too much than too little but it's a lot is it even going to fit is it going to be overweight quite possibly okay confession I forgot to vlog the packing and it is now done and in my jammies I've just had a shower and I'm pretty much ready to wind down for the night everything is organized for tomorrow I just need to dry my hair and yeah I'm just gonna chill out after that so everything from the bed did manage to fit into here and not being funny but I am self-proclaimed self-proclaimed self world's best packer I'm so good at packing, it, it's actually a skill, to be honest. Once I land, nothing will have moved, like everything will be in place. So that is all done, ready to be zipped up. I've got my clothes laid out ready for tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna wind down for the night and get ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like down below and comment to let me know. And if you wanna see more weekly vlogs, I would definitely be happy to do that. While you're here, I would also really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.